it is so sad that Adam Sushomole is now wallowing in a political crisis that some of his APC party members fired at him. However, most Nigerians no longer hear of the suspension by Adam Sushomole as national president of APC, whose suspension has been duly championed by his ward chairman, Oshawu Stephen, president of the ESACO local government area in Edo State. This reason for his suspension is marked by his neglect of his worst standards and values, which then made his ward president suspend him as a party member. His suspension affected his involvement in national politics, preventing him from once again becoming the national chairman of the APC. Then by giving due consideration to the current political issues that Adam Sushumole is grappling with, one can conclude that APC needs Adam Sushumole in the 2023 election. He must not be allowed to decamp to PDP because it is well known that if politicians have found their relevance in any party as fallen, most have decamped with other parties which value their relevance. His suspension can came with Gordon Obaseki at his difficult moment in which both of them engaged in a real political struggle. On the other hand, Gordon Obaseki was once a loyalist of Adam Sushumole, in which he was loyal to Adam Sushumole when he first expressed his, his hopes in 2016 for the race for the governor of Edo State. Gordon Obaseki was completely supported by Adam Sushumole because of its loyalty and because of Adam Sushumole's previously established capabilities. He was able to ensure the victory of Godwin Obaseki, but then he started to withdraw from the political conditions of Adam Sushumole following his appointment as governor of the state. The first political shot Adams had on Godwin Obaseki was his disqualification as an APC nominee, but then the kangaroo explanation for his disqualification was that he had just as well endorse false credentials for the APC faction. But I hope you agree entirely with me that the alleged explanation why he was disqualified is pro properly political because it was the same thing. This is to say to you that Adam Sushumole has taken great steps towards his disqual disqualification, but it is very different that any rational political expert is thrown away. The recent APC National Executive meeting revealed to the public that May Mala, who is the incumbent governor of the Yobe State, has been appointed as APC's new acting chief custodian committee. His appointment as the former APC National Secretary was well deserved until he left his post with the ambition of Yobe State governor. In the meantime, he was victorious in the 2019 election, yet his recent selection as a current APC interim chairman is also well deserved as an accomplished person with respect to the traditions and values of the party. It was named along with a few other politicians from other areas which resulted in the end of the appointment of the NWC faction under which Adams Oshumole would eventually collapse. It is also to remind you that Adam Sushumole was financially marginalized and has no impact in Edo and Nigeria political affairs. If Adam Sushumole is unable to revitalize its importance, it is unquestionably probable for him to consider the campaign to the PDP to ensure that he contributes best to APC's capacity in 2023. Then you agree with me that he belongs to the APC stronghold, which led to its victory in 2015, which took President Muhammadu Buhari to the presidential office, unsaturated by good luck Ebele Jonathan's government. Adams Ushumole's role in the victory of the group and because of the of his capacity as the other comparatively cabas such as Bola Tinubu will never be forgotten because of the ability to straighten their political agenda, in which APC has always been the most important group in the country and also the most fearful of all because of the involvement of some 
indomitable, indomitable. But the bitter truth is that if APC refuses Adams to show more or less utmost allegiance, there are several possibilities for APC to decamp to PDP or for Ushomole to decamp to PDP. So it exposes its APC vulnerabilities and so it will then come to power from APC, giving power in 2023 to PDP. In the meantime, it's unquestionably possible as he knows, he who knows how to do something good would find it easy to do something bad too. APC therefore ought to respect Adam Sushumole properly or else in 2023, they may be the architect of their misfortune. Hmm. Well, some people will tell you that uh, who is Oshomole in the first place? That maybe they have seen that Oshomole does not have any relevance uh, again. That's why they removed him. Because if they had thought it through, they would definitely not have, uh, you know, suspended him complete, completely. And some people will tell you, oh, PDP would not like to uh, welcome such person. Who told you? You know that these people, anything goes. APC, PDP, forget it. Well, if 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 uh, Oshomole decides to the camp, which I, I, I strongly uh, don't believe that he will do that. But if eventually he yeah, decamps to PDP, you will see that PDP, they will welcome him. Everything they have said, they have said against him or about him, they will forget it. Is it not this Nigeria? Is it not Nigerian politicians? They will tell you, oh, he's an asset to them. They will embrace him without blinking an eye. Exactly, that is exactly what they are going to do. Uh, it's always about, uh, my goodness, <laughs> Permanent uh, interest, not an enemy of uh, uh, at a time or uh, uh, friends at one at some point in time. No, they will embrace him. They will they will clap for him. They will see him as an asset because as he's coming, he, 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 because he has his own followers. They will just go with him. They will follow him. So what are we talking about? But whether Shumole has what it takes for APC to win in twenty twenty three, that is a damn. Is debatable now because it's not everybody that will agree to that because they will tell you that even when Oshomole came in as the chairman of the party that they lost a lot of states because of his uh, style of a uh, leadership. Some people have that opinion that then what now happens? So if they could lose a lot of states as a result of his uh, style of leadership, so how do you expect them to commit you know, the nation or the, the, the general elections into his hands? So does it mean Oshomole is the one who can make the party move forward? They have a lot of people like Oshomole, even those who are going to be better than him. They, they, they will strategize. So me, he's neither here nor there. And I don't think Oshomole can even, he can't speak now. Maybe he's, he's preparing to speak. But for since he's been suspended, we've not heard anything from Oshomole. Maybe he's, he's warming up because everybody's expecting him to come and do the Come and start the campaign for Eze Yamu. That is where, uh, you know, he's going to be speaking. If at all, he's going to be saying anything. People are really waiting for Oshomole to come and say uh, what he, he wants or what he feels about uh, uh, Eze Yamu now. I think that is what, that one is even the most important thing because the election is coming in September. So we are talking of 2023. They still have time. But for the now, Oshomole has to do what he has to do because it was because of him. It was through him that uh, Eze Yamu came back to APC. So we should be talking about a uh, September election for the now, not even 2023. Like they always say, when they get to that bridge, they will surely and definitely cross that bridge. But for Oshumole, so say he wants to go back to PDP, anything can happen. Though he might not want to have that, uh, he might not have the mindset to do that, but in case... Or paraventure, he changes his mind. Definitely, they will they will accept him. All those people, I don't know. That is where Nigerians have not really got in. Is or people just love to be deceived. Some people just love to be deceived or just, just to just be in a particular place or a particular group. Oh, I just belong to this person because these people they are not always uh, 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 carpeting, crisscrossing from one party to another, and. Majority of their followers, they will still follow them. Nobody asks questions. That's why is this? Why is it? They will tell you, forget it. Somebody did it in the past. It does not matter. It doesn't mean anything. Uh, he can move to anywhere. In as much they like him, they love him, they will want to go with him there. So, guys, let's hear your opinion concerning this uh, article. Leave your comments respectfully in the comment section. Thank you.